Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! And hello if you're new! Welcome to my channel! Today we'll be painting another autumn landscape but this time I'll be adding some... Uh, I'll be adding a lake. So this is really nice because I love autumn and I love waters. So we'll play with light, we'll play with reflections, and we'll play with a lot of colors today. So, yay! Okay, I'll be, I'll be doing as well some birch trees. Some birch trees. You know, um, when I was a kid, birch tree was uh, a name of a milk brand. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, it was. I don't know if there's still a birch tree milk, <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm just telling you guys. Okay, <laughs> let's begin now. I'm gonna tell you the colors that I'll be using for today's painting. <laughs> okay, we have titanium white, black, um, yellow ochre, cat yellow, permanent orange, this one, and then burnt sienna, ivy green. You can also use sap green if you have, or thalo green. And we have cerulean blue for the reflections of the sky. Okay, guys, let's begin now. I'm so, so excited. So, so excited. <laughs> All the time. So, I'm gonna wet my brush now. I'm gonna wet my brush. And I wanna do the... I wanna do the sky first because later we'll be using or we'll be doing a lot of leaves. So, I don't want the blue color to be contaminated by orange. So, let's do the light colors first, okay? So I'm gonna get my cerulean blue now. Okay, cerulean blue, guys. Just pure cerulean blue and water. And just um, apply it this way. Uh, move your, your brushes horizontally. All right. You can even water it down because it's not absolutely blue. There will be a lot of whites in here as well. To reflect the clouds so i'm gonna get now my white while my blue is still wet and apply it like this oh excuse me okay like that okay i'm gonna extend up to this part again i suggest that your application um be vertical, I mean, sorry, be horizontal. <laughs> horizontal because uh, we're doing reflections, guys. Okay, all right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna water down some more blues. I mean, cerulean. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to make it like light blue. And I'm just gonna make this Alright, like that. Um, make some random markings in the waters because, again, we're doing the reflections of the sky. So, uh, just look at the sky. If you look at the sky, um, it has some clouds, it has some patches, <laughs> call that. So, I'm going to water down my white and apply some tiny bit of Okay. I'm gonna do it this way to make some reflections of the white sky. Okay, like that. Again, uh, we can have different sky um, appearance because you know, I don't think we can ever have the same exact painting when we're doing nature. Definitely, we will all have different versions. Maybe some versions that are close. Uh, they're like, uh, <laughs> what do you call this? They're so similar, but can never be the same, you know? Okay, I'm gonna add more white. More patches of white in here. All right, I'm gonna use my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna dab it like that. <laughs> and then dab it like that. Because I don't wanna, 
like use my brush and then use my fingers like that more okay I think I got a lot of blue so um, I think I got a lot of blue and I'll, I won't be using any more blue anyway we're gonna do the sky now and I'm gonna add more white to the blue mixture on my paintbrush all right like that again more white with some hints of blue in there again again the more dominant color or the dominant color should be white not blue okay I'm going to color the sides of my canvas. Alright, like that. I can even extend this color up to the end of this because the sky will be showing through uh, in between trees and leaves. So I might as well paint it like that. I really like the sound of my brush when it scrubs my canvas. I like it. It's so like ASMR. <laughs> okay. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna lighten my reflections. I mean the water, the reflection in the waters. Okay, I'm just gonna lighten it because our sky is not absolutely blue. It's light blue. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make some gray. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. Tiny bit of black, guys. Just to make some gray color. Here, yes, okay. It should not be absolutely white. There will be patches in the sky that are grayish. Like that. Okay. We're going to make some more colors in the reflections later. For now, it's going to be like this. All right. Okay, wash your brush out. Now we're done with the sky. Um, I don't know if I can put it back. I cannot put it back. The blue color. Hmm. No way. Hmm. Okay. All right, so what should, okay, wait guys. Mm. I'm just gonna put this back because Okay, so I put back my um, Cerulean blue <laughs> because I, I don't wanna waste that. I got a lot, you know? All right. Okay, I'm gonna underpaint now the soil part. I'm gonna use my brown color plus black. This will be the same procedure that I did for the autumn landscape. If you watch that, if you did that, well, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna underpaint it with brown and black like this. You can even go like that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be horizontal it can be circular or vertical because it will be covered with a lot of leaves later and that is um, so that is what i'm so excited about so just continue doing this okay like that Okay, black and brown color. Black and brown, guys. Okay. 
okay. And then color the sides of your canvas to make it more neat. As I always say, As usual, it really looks weird right now, but I really like <laughs> the element of surprise when we're painting. Mm, okay, I think that's enough. Okay, wash and brush out now. I'm gonna get a smaller brush because um, we're gonna go, wait, where's that? Okay, we're gonna go over here the leaves and trees behind, um, no, not behind, but across, across the lake. So I'm gonna use my brownie color with black. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of green to it, like that, and start underpainting the back. Again, when we're underpainting, we're color blocking to be, um, in the process. I'm just coloring the sides of my canvas. Okay. Like that. <laughs> All right. Okay. You can water it down here because we will be applying lighter colors up here but we really want the green color to still show through. of the birch tree a birch tree <laughs> birch trees okay not three <laughs> that's number <laughs> okay i'm gonna get my black i mean my white and then i don't know i'm gonna gray mm, wait wait okay i'm gonna make it gray okay like this color i'm gonna add yellow to it and Tiny bit of orange, like this color. All right, this guys. Okay, more orange maybe. All right. All right. Now we're gonna do that tree trunks. Mm, all right, maybe here. Okay, and I'm just gonna make it thicker, like that. Mm -hmm. um, sorry guys, I'm feeling quite hyper today. Like I keep on laughing. <laughs> sorry guys. All right, I'm gonna extend it here. Ooh, let's sound again. Hmm, what is that? I'm gonna extend it down here, and it really doesn't matter if it mixes with my brownie color, because, well, it really doesn't matter. It's still consistent or it's not really against the color of the birch tree because we're gonna under I mean we're gonna paint over it later doesn't really matter guys okay again and then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of orange more okay 
I'm gonna make another tree trunk. Let's make the trunks like um, all vertical, but not really straight, if that makes sense. It's like all vertical going up, but not necessarily, you know, like straight. Make it, make the down part, or make, make the, this, make the lower part um, quite thicker. Okay, like that. Alright, next, next tree trunk, same mixture. Um, just dip your brush in water if you need some more uh, fluidity. Okay, like that. I'm gonna add more tree trunks okay this tree trunk I'm gonna extend down here it's near us it's near the viewer so it's gonna be like closer so the perspective is like that trees from uh, trees at the back are farther away from us because it's far all right like that okay again more tree trunks um, all right and maybe it can cross like that all right here hmm. like that okay more Again, guys, you will paint over it later. We're just identifying where the trunks are gonna go. So, yeah, it's not really in the color of the birch tree because we will be doing some detailing later. This is just to, a part also of underpainting it, but locating um, our subjects. Is it, oh, no, 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 no locating um, or positioning our subjects I mean not locating <laughs> okay like that all right I think we've basically located them I mean such um, place them in the right location I'm just fixing the paints guys because there's so there are some blobs of paints or I really don't like that um, We'll be using texture later, but not here. All right. Okay, that's enough. Okay. It's mm, nice. All right. I'm gonna let it dry for a while, and let's move on. Or let's go back to um, the soil part. So I'm gonna get my orange. 
worst man burnt sienna all right orange okay i think i'll be i'm gonna mix it with a tiny bit of yellow and burnt sienna and okay i think i used the wrong brush i'm gonna use my but this can work i'm gonna use my what do you call this rubens stencil remember that brush if you've watched a couple of my videos landscape painting i've been using that brush to help me do foliage anyway um it's still working now i mean it's, this is still working so i don't mind later i'm gonna change it for now i'm fine because i'm still under painting to be honest this is not detailing it yet not yet I'm just making some texture. All right, like that. Sometimes I'll mix yellow or I'll add yellow, but not really uh, mixing it with the orange and browns. All right, like this. Keep doing this, guys, until you create some um, like leaf a leafy um leaf like or leaf like strokes okay i have to change my brush now i really do. so i'm gonna use this one the stencil that i've been using yes that's it this is what i, I like about this one because it gets the job done quite fast Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow just to make it more natural. Again. Mm, like that. We'll be layering a lot here. Okay, I can even use my yellow ochre just to add some other shade of yellow. gonna add I'm gonna I'm just gonna tap or dab some orangey color and we're gonna do details later okay I'm gonna get my yellow ochre and yellow just keep doing this guys okay I'm gonna get my ivy green and add ivy green to it dab in in some areas because again even if it's um, fall there is still falling green leaves you know it's not just red and yellow just to be more um, realistic in approach A lot more okay I'm gonna get my cat yellow maybe mixed with white actually I run out of what but okay like that some areas will be highlighted Okay, I'm gonna get my orange now, mixed with burnt sienna or brown. Here. I'm gonna lighten that. Okay. I'm gonna get my ivy green and insert some greeny color here in between those tree trunks again 
underpainting it guys so don't worry we're gonna paint over it later all right so i'm gonna make some grassy uh like that like grass like um brush strokes here so i'm just gonna use the tip of my brush like that okay i'm gonna ex oops that's too much <laughs> So I'm gonna do that. Hmm. I'm gonna get my black now. I think that's too greeny. So I'm gonna dab in some black to add some depth, like that. Okay, add some black to some areas to add some shadow as well all right like that okay we're gonna go back to it later i'm just gonna let it dry for a while because we really don't want to destroy the details if we paint wet on wet so we have to wet a <laughs> we have to wait for it to dry <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do the background colors now so I'm gonna get my orange and mix it with yellow ochre. So this is a more toned down version. All right, it's not pure orange, it's like yellowish. Okay, here, All right, like that. I can even add more yellow to it, just to make it quite lighter than this, than this one. So I'm just gonna do this application. Like that. Mm. Just dab, guys. Keep on dabbing. Just dab, dab, dab. Mm. All right. <laughs> and make sure that you also do some natural unevenness because we are doing foliage. I don't know why it smells like peanut butter in here, but it smells like peanut butter. Hmm. All right, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get my ivy green if you have sap green and that, that's good. And I'm just gonna go um, below those yellow, sometimes mixing it. All right, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get just yellow mixed with green and I'm gonna make some yellow greeny color. So just play with your, pay, um, with your what? <laughs> play with your colors. <laughs> so sorry guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make some um, foliage in between those tree trunks that we have here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my orange now. All right, I'm gonna tone it down. I'm gonna add some yellow ochre and tiny bit of black to tone it down, really. So I'm just gonna, mm -hmm, okay, yeah, that's enough. I mean, that's fine. I'm just gonna do this in between those tree trunks, guys. And again, we're gonna paint over the tree trunks later, so don't you worry if we're covering it. We're not actually covering it. We're just trying to um, make it more natural uh, looking. So again, in between, I'm gonna get my orange, yellow ochre combined. And this is not the final one. We're gonna do more detailing later, guys. This is not it. I promise you. This is not the, the right color. We're gonna make some yellow, 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 yellow coloring later. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow ochre. Okay. Just gonna dab in here, just like that. Okay, here as well. All right, 
Now I'm gonna get my same color, same color, more orange, but I think I'll be using my, hmm, okay, I'm gonna use my permanent yellow D. Okay, it's transparent yellow. It's, it's transparent yellow, guys. So I'm just gonna add it here. I'm just getting, I'm just gonna add it here like that so that I can create a more light version of our foliage. And this foliage is not the foliage of the background, it's actually the foliage for the trees. It's like, you know, they're falling down like that. Okay, I'm gonna add more yellowness <laughs> to it. Here. Does that make sense, guys? <laughs> We're gonna add some um, detail on the branches later. For now, we're just doing the foliage, and leaves, and the fall vibes already done. Yay! So just continue and make the appearance like going down. So just follow the, just follow the flow. <laughs> Alright, like that. I'm gonna get more permanent yellow this time. I'm gonna add it, um, what do you call this? Uh, at the tip of those, at the tip of those, um, what do you call that? Vines or leaves. It's like highlighting it already. But then again, we will be doing a lot of layering here. I think this is a beautiful piece. This is a beautiful piece. Actually, guys, I was not really planning to paint today because I thought I, w I just want to, like, I know, uh, do nothing. <laughs> but my God, I, I think my body has already adopted this habit of creating something and yeah i just love it i just i don't think i'll be able to sleep in one day without doing it okay anyway uh, i'm gonna make some more highlighted uh, flowers or leaves this is just suggestion almost uh because when we do landscape when we do landscapes everything is just suggestion we cannot really do a lot of details because the view is so wide that you can do suggestions but make it really realistic looking if that's your goal well me that's my goal we have different goals <laughs> all right i'm gonna go in between now okay in between those uh, tree trunks guys all right Okay. I'm gonna mix this yellow with a tiny bit of green just to add some you know playfulness to the leaves I really don't want it to look like it's just yellow I want to add some greens because I love green guys <laughs> I love the green color I love it I just love it and also here, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Like that. This one, oops, that's too much. Okay. Wow, I love it. And we we even haven't done the even haven't done yet the the birch tree which i'm so so excited about because you know it's been a while since i've done a birch tree i think it's been like years since the last time i i did a birch tree i think that was in 2017 when i painted a birch tree anyway so i'm gonna get my black now i'm gonna get my black and okay Let's do the birch tree, guys. Um, 
to be honest this will involve quite a bunch of detailing guys but mm, it's very doable it's nothing that you cannot do but um, it will mm, it will consume a lot of your time but I really like it. Anyway, I'm just gonna combine it with greeny color and orangey color. Mm. So that doesn't look like all black. All right. Even I'm gonna um, water down some paints like that and make some other like dark. It's all about um, unevenness, if you may call that. I call that unevenness and I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna make some straight line like that because this is the root area. Oh, no, 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 not the root area, near the roots area. And I'm just gonna dab in some black paint here and there. gonna go back to some areas and even if we're doing the birch tree already this is not yet not yet guys <laughs> the final look of it and near the roots I'm gonna add more blackiness blackiness <laughs> all right I'm gonna get my black again just black guys and maybe water it down in some areas gonna move it um, most of the marks the black markings will be horizontal in application because that's how birch trees by nature um, that's how they look like All right. so just watch me do this guys and you can practice on your own because this is learn better when you actually watch it than me just talking you know and also by doing it to be honest not just watching but doing it actually all right like that and then i'm gonna make some markings like that to suggest some um, little branches what's that Ooh. Sounds like a police. Police car, right? <laughs> I think I covered so much in here. I'm just gonna get my gray color and oh, it's not working, guys. Okay, I'm gonna add some white because I ran out of white. Okay, so I'm gonna add white to my paintbrush and extend this part of the tree. Doesn't seem like right at all because we've covered a lot to be honest. So I'm just gonna go and go back to them. They're so covered. Just identifying where they are. Some areas will be covered, but not all. All right, like that. Okay, get back to your black now. Okay, just do this, guys. Um, it's quite therapeutic as well. Because I really like doing this nature paintings. I love nature paintings because um, it relax um, they relax me really. All 
Okay. Then I'm gonna make some like um, vertical lines to suggest um, proximity to the roots. It's like as you go near the roots, um, they become wrinkly and really uneven. Alright, like that. <laughs> okay, here as well. Then I'm gonna make some line like that. Oh, sorry. Don't have paints. Mm, like that. Mm, like that. To suggest some um, little branches. Just little branches, guys. Mm, like that. Okay, like this. You can even use brownie color. Okay, just wet your brush to uh, to get some or to do some smoother application because sometimes my brush gets dry quite quick. Okay. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna make some tiny markings like this to suggest little branches. You can use a different brush, like a tinier brush, or a finer brush, just for purposes of creating um, finer, um, uh, uh, what do you call this? Final stems and branches and um, some vines. Okay, I'm gonna add more. Then let's go back here. I'm gonna add more black. Like that. So just make the trunks darker as you go down, as you go near the root side. I mean the root part. Okay, I'm gonna get more black. And we're gonna create some mm, like that. The markings. This looks nice. <laughs> I just check it from the viewer. All right. mm, this is so nice. I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm really inspired, guys. Just use black. You can open. You can even use brownie color, um, just to you know have some variation in the uh, values of your stamps. Some will be thin, uh, thin stamps. Some will be like uh, black and uh, dark and thick. Just gonna add some black markings here, here and there. Okay, I'm gonna add more branches. Just tiny bit, guys. I mean, just thin branches, guys. Especially if you're doing the branches, um, branches of the back of the back uh, trees, or those trees far from us, far from the viewer. So. 
make some thin lines like that suggestive of branches or yeah branches like this and we're gonna highlight it later uh, to make it more pretty Okay, I love it. I really like it. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make some um, definition. So I'm gonna water down my black and define the trees, guys. But water down because we really don't want any harsh lines for the trees. We don't want that. We don't want that. Harsh lines are for other types of paintings but not for natural paintings. Alright, like that. We're just gonna define it. But again, don't do harsh lines, guys. Okay. So here. It's just separating one trunk from another. Mm. You can do that. You can do that. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Oops, that's too thin. Uh, that's too thick, I mean gonna get my white because I think that's too yep yeah. it's too bad it's too harsh all right okay push a brush out okay I'm gonna leave it like that for a while just to uh, dry it mm, we're gonna go back to it to do the highlighting and more foliage because there are spots or there are spaces that really don't want to be there <laughs> we want those spaces to be filled in so for now while waiting for it to be dry or to dry i'm gonna do some reflections here so as you can see we have to reflect the leaves here and do the reflections here it's okay so i'm just gonna get again my yellow ochre okay we're gonna use the yellow ochre and mix with white just to separate the horizon or the horizon the water from the land like this but very tiny i mean very subtle application guys it should not be too too much all right i'm gonna use the yellow ochre mixed with orange okay. and make some applications like this i'm gonna water it down make some horizontal applications like that and then I'm gonna add some brownie color just to be more realistic oops it's too dark sorry mm. All right, like that. Okay. just use your hand just to make it more um, nice okay so just watch me guys how I do this I'm gonna add some orange so I'm gonna play with my colors now and try to make some sense for the reflections if it uh, if you see orange then make some orangey color if you see brown just make some brownie color. Okay, for this reflection, it's the reflections of the vines um, from afar or trees. You can make it quite like this. It's like vertical and then suddenly horizontal vertical the horizontal like that you know vertical horizontal like that does that make sense guys mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna get my sap, I mean my ivy green, or in your case, if you don't have this color, just use your sap green. Same thing, like vertical and then horizontal. Like that. Here as well. You can do horizontal and vertical, whatever, as long as you, you cross it. Also here, some tiny bit, tiny bit of it. Like that here. I'm gonna add some orangey, orangey color here. Just to hmm. okay, like brown in color. Vertical. I'm applying it vertically to suggest some trees. I mean branches reflected. I'm gonna get my blacky black color blacky <laughs> mm. all right like that and then I'm gonna get my yellow yellow color guys so I'm just mixing my yellow with yellow ochre as long as you get that yellowness and try to go in between or inside the reflections gosh so noisy do you hear that <laughs> all right okay and hmm, here as well because you know the water is still showing in there Okay, I'm gonna get my brownie color again. All right, <laughs> this looks nice. This looks nice. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my brownie color again. Water down, I mean water down because we're gonna make some um, reflections at the corner. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna add some black. Reflections are always distorted, guys. They are not the real thing. These are distorted image because of um, because um, because of refraction as well. All right, so I'm gonna add some blacky stems here like just to suggest some um, stems and depth as well here it cannot be just leaves in there there should be some sticks there should be some stems there should be some i don't know anything but it cannot be like that it cannot be just like that all right, gonna get my brownie color again. Go up so that our reflections are consistent with, um, you know, what is being or what is supposed to be reflected. Like that. So, 
Since these are objects from afar, you don't need to be in full detail, guys, because they are suggestions of what they are. They are not supposed to be what they are. You know that? <laughs> All right. Okay, what's your brush out now? Are we still recording? Let me check. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, wash your brush out. <sighs> I'm gonna get my yellow and mix with orangey color and white, like this color. Almost pinky orange, like this. Pinky orange. And I'm gonna water it down and apply uh, somewhere here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my hand. like pastel orange like that so that we become more realistic you know okay like that and then some patches of uh, orangey hmm. oh I used the wrong finger <laughs> <laughs> don't let the black color mix because they're gonna get it like super mm, dark we don't want that all right like that All right, this is so nice, so nice. All right, okay, so what should we shout now? I'm gonna get my, um, okay, this is actually lemon yellow. All right, just use lemon yellow. It's like oh, uh, really, really like bright yellow. It's not neon, but it's a lighter version of our cat yellow. So just get that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got the wrong brush, but I'm going to use it anyhow. Mm. Yeah, I got the wrong brush. But anyway, we'll continue. I'm going to make some more highlighted foliage or flowers and leaves and all that here the back you can dab tap or like this to suggest um distance right. here in the waters as well because remember what we put here we put here to be consistent with reflections and of course uh, the rule of science, you know that? You know that, guys. <laughs> okay, mm, here as well. Those green areas should be highlighted with yellow, and those orangey, orangey colored will be highlighted by light orange. I'm gonna get my orange now and mix with the lemon yellow. Oh, wrong brush <laughs> because I really want to do my foliage brush so I'm just gonna get my foliage brush my Rubens craft actually this is not a real foliage brush I'm just calling it foliage brush because I'm using it for foliage so if you have your own foliage brush use it I, there's no rule that you use this I'm not that type who tells you to buy any particular brush. I'm not that type, not at all. Use whatever it is that you have there, guys. As long as you get that effect. So if you're wondering, um, the, the look of this is like round and very stiff, stiff brush. So I'm just gonna apply orangey, yellow orangey color here and there. Going back to the foliage that we painted already. 
I'm just gonna fill in those spaces that were left unpainted just to be sure that we get this really nice okay okay I'm gonna get my yellow again and go back to okay that's too yellow I'm gonna mix it with a tiny bit of orange Go back here. Okay, like that. Gonna get my yellow ochre now. Yellow ochre for some areas here. Okay, I'm gonna mix that with brown color. Again, go um go down. I'm gonna get my orange yellow color and. So you're just gonna play with this guys until you you're happy with it uh, you know me guys I don't stop until I'm happy with my painting okay I'm gonna get some green color green color just to dab in some little greens in there here and there like that okay that looks really really nice I'm gonna get my orange color and I'm gonna water it down and maybe apply some orangey color here just to add more you know volume of foliage like that Okay, you can push your brush out. Okay, I'm gonna add white to my yellow color, like this color. Just add white for some hmm, highlighting, especially um, down here, the bottom foliage and some side foliage. Use the same mixture just to tap just to dab in here some areas will be like bright some won't be bright all right all right like that so we can stop for now like that we're gonna go back to the trees now to highlight it because they look so flat. I'm gonna get my white, my white color, and I'm just gonna highlight now our trees. The light is coming from the left side. So the left side of our trees will be highlighted or brighter compared to the right side. Then to avoid those harsh lines, before your paint gets super dry already, just uh, like do this. Really don't want any harsh lines this time. Okay, I'm gonna water it down, my white, and highlight some trees. it as you think might be needing some fixing here like that okay more okay we can go back to it later to define it even more and if we made some mistakes like I just did. We can correct it. All right. 
make this more white, more white. So just highlight the left side of your trees now. Highlight. Mm. All right. You can even extend it like that. So I'm going to highlight this even more. I'm going to use my yellow ochre. And white to um, highlight my birch tree like that okay, here. here as well so I'm just using um, yellow ochre plus white guys and trying to get that natural effect that I want. I'm gonna get my black just to define this tree because I feel like I lost the shape of it already. All right, like that. And okay. Just go back to detailing if necessary. Keep going guys okay to be honest I'll be using my palette knife for this hmm. all right like that let's see how how this looks like this looks so nice so so nice but I still need to add more detailing guys I'm gonna get my black now and I'm gonna define the right side of the tree of the trees I mean they need defining because they are not being light I mean well lit so they should separate they should be separated from each other. They should not be there, like, you know, just pasted. They should be separated. Here. Like that. Separate guys or define the trees. Like that. Some more stems. Those little branches, right? Like that. Okay, like that. Just to make it more natural. So I'm, again, I'm going to darken the areas near the roots. Okay. I'm going to wash my brush out now. Wash my brush out. Okay, wash it. 
Okay, I'm gonna mix now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use this color, the mixture of yellow and white, and a tiny bit of orange, I think. Okay, I'm gonna glaze now some areas, guys. Um, in between, like that, like the middle or the center part of the birch tree. Because um, it kind of reflects the colors of the fall leaves. So it's like golden. Okay, I'm going to water it down and apply it thinly on the trees to suggest um, that the colors of the leaves are also being reflected by the trees. Like that. Okay, I'm going to get my white. Just keep going, guys. Keep going. It's quite... Um, technical well not really if you're really good you know um. all right okay like that that's really nice I'm gonna get my brownie color so if you don't have brown, just add black and orange, maybe a tiny bit of yellow. Okay, like that. If you have yellow, um, burnt sienna, just go. I'm just gonna go back to some branches and add black to it because it's not showing out of that. All right, tiny, tiny branches that should be there. It should be there, guys. Mm, I missed this part. Okay, go back to your black and make some more detailing because we have to suggest this is birch tree. I'm just defining our trees now. All right, like that. Okay. I'm gonna get my brown and black color and just make some um, depth here. Down here, foliage. And make some stems or some grass is here. All right, like that. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get, okay, I'm gonna get more yellow. Oh, sorry, white and yellow. I'm just gonna use my fan brush and get my white. Maybe water it down a bit. And make some, hmm, like, like this line here. Just not too much though, just, just such as water. It's water, but we wanna suggest movement movement in the water so I'm just using my fan brush like that so 
really want this to be to be pretty and then maybe here I'm just gonna use it to highlight more our trees Okay, now I'm going to get my orangey color. Mm, I actually don't know, but I'm just going to tap in some more orangey color in the back. And here as well. Okay, I'm going to get more yellow, I forgot. Yellow. I'm gonna mix that with the orange color and I'm gonna do this. Okay, again. Like that. Just to suggest some highlighted fallen leaves, you know. a lot of texture okay get more white this time or oh, not more but uh, highlight some leaves here okay here as well right here so dab in some whiteness to our birch tree like that for details we're just doing the details now, and I really like it okay. because um, I feel like it's coming to life now. Okay, like that. Hmm. Ah, it's it. Let me check. Oh, this looks absolutely nice. Okay, I'm gonna use some applications here as well just to make it like glowing all right and here I'm gonna make get some orange color mm, it's too much All right, I'm gonna get my black again, just to mix it more like natural. I could have used my palette knife, but it has the same effect though. All your black all right like that okay now I'm gonna make some foliage on top of those branches because it doesn't seem like they're natural to me I'm gonna tap in like that like that okay so yeah I'm gonna make it more natural looking by overlapping some branch I mean some foliage because that's how things should look like like natural okay I'm gonna get orange so that I add more depth like that okay and then this time yellow with white probably okay with white white oh that's too white mm, it's okay we're gonna paint over it anyway here mm, like that mm. here even back here the leaves here 
or the plants. It could be anything. They could be anything, guys. Okay, here as well, like that. my um, fan brush we're gonna highlight some branches to suggest where the light is Okay. Here as well. Again, just highlight the left side of your trees. All right, like that. And then I'm going to get more white to suggest more. Uh, reflections of the sky That's really nice. That's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my brownie color. We're almost done, guys. Almost. So don't you worry. highlight some areas here just to make it more natural oh it's raining all right like that okay so i'm gonna get now just for the last steps i'm gonna get oh sorry <laughs> i'm gonna get my permanent yellow leaf I'm just gonna get my permanent yellow deep and dab in some brightness here and there you know uh, yeah it's like like that I'm just gonna dab oh sorry I'm just gonna dab in some brightness Okay, this looks absolutely nice. Gosh, this looks nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. 
Okay, just a few more steps, guys. We're almost done. We're almost done, and I hope you'll be patient. More white this time. Just pure white. Highlight the left side of the tree. Okay, I'm gonna make some light effect, guys. Um, this is just a personal choice. I really want to make this a lot with a lot of light, light play. So I'm gonna get my white. Okay, water it down, guys. And uh, okay, I'm gonna add some yellow, yellowness to it to make it more warm. And I'm just gonna go, guys. I'm just gonna add some rays, sun rays, like that. Coming from the left side, because I keep telling you that the light is coming from the left, and I really wanna show that it is coming from the left side. Okay, where's my cloth? And I'm just gonna delete some highlights like that. I really want to show some light guys so this is just a personal decision on my part we can actually end where we um, where we stopped where, before doing this but it's my personal choice again yellow plus white this time Okay, I'm gonna get my orange and brown or, or black just to suggest some depth. Like that. Okay, go back to yellow. Okay, I'm gonna get more brown in color. Because again, I'm losing the, the stems by glazing it, so just bringing them back. All right, that looks nice. Okay, and then last guys, sorry. I just, where's my cloth? Because okay. I really need to make this nice. gonna get some yellow ochre and orange and yellow and go back and make some more depth and, here as well. and keep going guys mm. okay over it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Really nice. All right. 
Just a few more steps, guys. Just a few more. Get your black. Go back to detailing the birch tree so that we don't lose it. We don't lose the birch tree appearance. Keep going, guys. Okay, so I'm just trying to be more detailed here. That's really nice. Ah, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> All right. Yay. So I'm going to sign it now. I'm going to use my black color. All right. I'm going to sign it here. What do you think? Or here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use my white instead so that I can sign here white and yellow, it doesn't matter, as long as it can be seen. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yay. Gosh, we're done. Not yet, because I'm going to add more, <laughs> more um, branches. Like that. That we didn't see. I'm going to add some, um, what do you call this, light blue, light blue color um, here, just to suggest that the sky is also showing through, just to make some spaces here, because it's too, um, what do you call that, clumpy, yeah. Just to suggest that there is still sky showing. I really like it. Okay. That's nice. Finally, we're done. We're done, guys. And this is a beautiful piece. <laughs> I like it. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Another fall scene. Another fall. What do you call this? Oh, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
because I really need to make some more detailing. Uh, I think I missed the ground. Uh, I missed the ground. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So keep um, making some grassy like application here. Get your brown color to be more um, realistic. Like that. Okay, you can even use yellow ochre. Alright, and get some white. Oops, oops, that's too much. Anyway. That's too much, but anyway, I'm gonna fix that one. Get your brownie color. Okay, and then get your black. Paint over it. It's like the soil part. All right, get some green color. Because we really want it to be uh, okay. to be nice. Okay, here. All right, like that. Okay, and then brownie color here. Okay, black. That okay, orangey color. Mm -hmm. All right, just one more. I'm gonna get some yellow. Actually, guys, we're almost. I keep telling that we're done but I missed that spot, so I will not stop until I'm happy about it. I told you guys. Okay. So I'm just adding more yellow, yellow leaves to our crown, to our soil, to make it more realistic. All right, <laughs> now I really like it. Okay, here, like that. Okay, yes, that's what I like about it, you know, when I, I don't stop. Okay, we're done, guys. Yay! <laughs> guys, we're done. Yay, 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 yay. So I hope you, do, you enjoy this one. Well, I did, guys. I enjoyed this one. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> guys! Mm -hmm. mm.